guys so we're gonna be going over all the big call of duty news that i've covered on the channel this week and some other channel information housekeeping stuff like that for my youtube channel so if you guys recall from my call of duty eclipse dlc video that i did on tuesday where i showed you guys the multiplayer maps that i told you guys about the weapon buffs we got a lot of buffs pretty much every gun got buffed in the game with the exception of uh the cuda getting nerfed a little bit at hardcore and the vmp getting a little bit of a nerf as well but other than that pretty much everything got buffed in every in every weapon class even the dlc weapons that you're probably not going to get since they're only available in supply drops and I was also telling you guys how I was really in love with the multiplayer maps, with the exception of Verge. I thought they were all really well done. I thought Knockout was beautifully rendered, the graphics on that map. I also love Spire. It feels just like Terminal from NW2, which is saying a lot because it's one of my favorite maps. And uh, I was also enjoying Rift. Uh, I also told you guys how I hadn't really played the Zombies map yet because I had to kind of be in a rush to get that video up. But over the course of the past three or four days, I have had some time to try out the Zombies map. And, uh, you know, honestly, I, in my honest review of it, one of the good things about coming to a, a small YouTube channel is because I don't have any allegiance like Activision or any big time developers, so I can give you my straight up honest opinion on it. Now this map really reminded me of Shangri-La from Black Ops 1, and I hated Shangri-La. And the reason for, for in my opinion that comparison is one it's in like a jungle in southeast asia or in somewhere in asia and there's a lot of similarities to shangri-la in terms of like the mysticism and stuff like that that goes on with the easter egg in the map which i have not got yet uh around to trying out but anyway this map i think if you're not like me and i'll explain what i mean like by like me in a minute i think you'll really enjoy the map it, it has some underwater elements that are pretty cool there's a lot of uh like turning the, the power on, which is like done by collecting these buckets of water from these uh, like ponds around the map, is kind of original. At first, it was kind of confusing because I was unsure of how to keep the power on, like after every round. Then I found out that you have to like grab this uh, master switch or something by swimming underwater, which was pretty unique. Cause it adds a new feel to it. Uh, but and what I meant by like me is that I'm definitely afraid of spiders. And if you guys have tried the map out, you'll know that instead of dogs, there's spiders that spawn like every six or five or six rounds or whatever. And actually like my first time playing the map, like uh, with this gameplay footage that I'm showing you now, like I, cr I like crawled up in a ball, like prone in the map and just closed my eyes. Cause I'm definitely afraid of spiders, especially the way that these spiders are set up where they like walk around on their back two legs. Uh, with those like white pus balls on the back of them it's really creepy it scared the shit out of me and i honestly like have not played the map since i think like two days ago which is when i made this gameplay footage just because of how scared i was uh but other than that i mean like it's a pretty decent map it's got some original elements that that you haven't seen in uh in many call of duty zombies maps i think it'll give a break to those people who have been wearing out their Eisendrock. i personally didn't really like that map but uh, it, it definitely gives you uh, an original feeling. I'm personally probably gonna stick with the giant as my go-to zombies map. I average, I think, like round 35 on there, so I'm pretty consistent with the giant. And uh, I, I'm not liking this map, even though I got to a pretty decent round. I think I got to like round 25 or something uh, about the second time I played this map with a group of friends. But <clears throat> other than that, I just really wasn't feeling it. The DLC overall though, if, if somebody asked me whether or not it would be worth the money picking up if you don't have a season pass or if you're thinking about getting a season pass, I definitely would say yes, uh, that it's worth picking up. The maps, with the exception of Verge in my opinion, are really well done. The Zombies map, if you're not afraid of spiders, you'll love it. There's a cool Wonder Weapon on there as well. And uh, I mean, other than that, it's, it's just been a pretty decent week for Call of Duty. Now, one thing that I wish they would bring to one of these updates is a black market fix. I mean, they're bringing all these uh, weapon glitches, uh, weapon buffs and things like that, but you still have the character glitch if you back out of a match and we still, the black market system is absolutely awful. So if I had to pick one thing, I would definitely go with them fixing the black market system in the next update. Probably won't happen though because of the way, like I told you guys on that black market algorithm video that I did, the black market has basically already been made. They're not going to go back and change it at all, which fucking sucks. But there's hope for the next Call of Duty. I also want to say thank you for everybody for subscribing. We just got to 202 subscribers the other day. I forgot to mention it in my last video. I think we broke 200 uh, actually the day before I made that video. So 
Uh, thanks to everyone for watching this video, for supporting the channel, helping me grow. Really appreciate it. If you've not done so already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel to get some more Call of Duty content, a bunch of political stuff, a bunch of football stuff, all that type of good stuff. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out.